Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel and this is a new series that I'm starting today. It's called PyTorch 101. It's for beginners and also for intermediate people who are familiar with PyTorch can also probably gain some knowledge from this series. So what do we have in this series? In this series we are going to start from some basic stuff like what are tensors in PyTorch and then autograd we're going to look at data loaders we are going to um, look at what are data sets we are going to create our own training loop optimizers schedulers these kind of things and most of these things are already there in the pytorch documentation i always say pytorch documentation is one of the best so if you want to learn you can also go to pytorch.org click on documentation and learn from there so I will be adapting a lot of things in today's lecture from uh, PyTorch documentation. So that's a good reference for you too. So what's the first step and what are the prerequisites? Well, the prerequisites are you should know uh, basics of Python, obviously. You should know about deep learning and then you should dive into these lectures. Uh, so uh, today we are going to start from tensors and it i assume that you already have downloaded and installed pytorch so if you have not it's very simple click on uh, go to pytorch.org click on get started and then choose your build choose your operating system and your flavor and just install it so tensors um what are tensors tensors are very simple if you know about ar arrays in P python it's same as that or let's say very similar so i uh, let let me import torch so i will import torch and along with that i will also import numpy why am i importing numpy it's uh, for comparison purposes and you will see so let me increase the size a little bit so it's more clear now and um now one of the things that you can do is you can check if uh, PyTorch is using um, CUDA or if CUDA is available on your computer means the GPU and if Torch has access to it. So you can just do torch.cuda. is available and it will show you true or false. And if I look at my GPU, I have uh, RTX 3090 and there's nothing running on it. So now um, we create a array. So array will be a 2D array, let's say a list of lists. So let's name it some data. And inside that we have some values because it's some data and three comma four. So how does my sum data look like? A simple list of lists. And if I do type of some data, I will get a list so it's a list inside that there are there are many lists now a list of lists can be converted to a numpy array by using np.array some data you can also do np. as array and some data so both these things doing the same thing but we are here for torch and we need to convert this list of lists or the array to a torch tensor and that can be done using torch.tensor and some data so now your um, some data gets converted to a torch tensor and you can we can just put it in the same variable again so some data and then we can check the type of some data now tensors have some attributes one of them is some data dot d type you can do d type so you see it's an integer array so since all values are integers it determine the d type on its own and it's an integer array um and now let's try to convert the numpy array to a torch tensor which is also very easy so i will say numpy array is np dot random dot rand and let's make a random array and that looks like this 
So this is my random three cross four array, three rows, four columns. And if, if I want to convert it to uh, torch tensor, all I have to do is torch dot from numpy. And here I have numpy underscore array. So um, it already has a, it also has a D type. So you here you converted a numpy array to a torch tensor. What you can also do is you can just write torch.tensor numpy array. So same thing, uh, there's different ways of doing it. Now there are many other uh, torch uh, tensor operations and uh, like it, it's like numpy array operations. So if you know about uh, like np.ones, there is torch.ones. So I can just do George dot once three comma four and it generates me array with all ones in it. If I do torch dot zeros, it will be all zeros. As simple as that. Um, I can also do torch dot rand to generate random numbers three comma four uh, between zero and one. So this is what I got. Um, so let's call this tensor my tensor. So what are tensors actually? Tensors are nothing but arrays that can be kept in CPU memory or the GPU memory. And when you do operations on it, it can be on CPU on or on GPU. So whatever you specify. So I created a tensor called my underscore tensor, which is just a random three cross four uh, matrix or array. And I do my tensor dot d type uh, okay uh, without the brackets and it's uh, float 32 so now i can check uh, where my tensor is so if i just do my tensor dot device it's going to tell me that your tensor is currently on cpu device so uh, if if i want to move it to gpu all i have to do is my tensor dot 2 cuda since i have only one gpu i can just do CUDA. If I have multiple GPU, I can specify which GPU I want. So I can just do CUDA and uh, it goes to CUDA zero automatically. So this is not in place. To make it in place, uh, let's see if this works. Okay, so this doesn't work. Okay, um, so this is not in place. So what I'm going to do is because if you if I do my tensor device again here, it's still CPU. So I'm just going to do my tensor, go to my tensor.2, CUDA. And now my tensor is on CUDA device in leg zero because I have only one GPU at the moment. And um, now there are many things that you can that you can do to tensors, like you can do indexing. So if this is your tensor and you want my tensor, all rows one two three so uh, this gives you column one and column two and uh, which is this column and this column and all all the rows so these kind of operations the the simple normal operations that you perform in numpy you can do that uh, a lot of uh, times you need um, to multiply two matrices element wise so I can just do uh, my tensor dot mul multiply with my tensor. So here I get uh, another tensor, which is just an element wise uh, multiplication. And element wise multiplication can also be achieved by doing um, my tensor asterisk, then my tensor again gives you the same result just different ways of doing it. And now if you want to do um, a matrix multiplication, so for that you have to do my tensor dot matmul, my tensor dot transpose. Here we do transpose because you have read it in eighth grade. Uh, so here the sh shape is three cross four and then it has to be four cross something. So uh, then you get uh matrix multiplication between these two tensors 
So now if I have to um, do the same thing, I can also use dodge dot natmal and my tensor comma my underscore tensor dot transpose. So dot t is just doing the transpose. Uh, you can achieve the same thing by doing my tensor at the rate my tensor obviously dot transpose okay now uh, you can also do things like take sum so my tensor dot sum and here you can just take the sum of everything here you can specify axis so like along columns or along the rows depending on if axis is zero or one great um there are other things like uh torch dot max torch dot min um that you can also do on uh, these tensors and then we have uh, a simple thing uh, torch dot concat or sorry torch dot cat and what it does it just concatenates to uh, tensors so my tensor comma my tensor let it concatenate these two and you see it adds um, another few three rows so you can also specify here axis one and it concatenates on the columns i think this should also work so access you can also use dim so um we haven't reached um a point where i can show you what softmax and sigmoid are but just for fun what you can do torch.nl.functional.softmax and here you can specify like my tensor uh, so uh, here you get a warning that you should specify dimension so i will just do them equal to one and here you see uh here you are getting uh sum equal to 1.0 so it just applies a soft max and if you do them dim equal to zero it's the columns okay um for any tensor you can also do tensor dot shape or tensor dot size Oh, sorry it should be my tensor dot size and here you have you can do zero or one or minus one things like that just to index the size so when we are dealing with images or uh, uh, many times we are dealing with images and uh, we have tensors of the shape uh, let's say 10 comma 3 comma 128 comma 128 so here 3 is the number of channels you have pytorch ex expects it to be channel first and then you have um, 128 cross 128 height and width of the image and 10 is the batch size so this is how this kind of tensor looks like and you will be dealing with th these kind of tensors quite a lot and if you do size of this so you get batch size channels with the night okay what you can also do is you can use something like clip so my tensor is here this is your tensor and my tensor dot clip let's clip everything between 0 0.2 and 0 0.8 so everything uh, below 0 0.2 gets converted to 0 0.2 and everything above 0 0.8 becomes 0 0.8 so this is one of one more operation called clip operation and now uh, let's convert this tensor uh, to uh, numpy array so what we can do is we can get the tensor bring it to the cpu so dot cpu detach it we will come to detach in future and convert it to numpy array and this becomes here from tensor to a numpy array pretty cool right 
there are way too, too many operations that you can do using tensors. I've shown you some basic ones. If you want to go look into details, what you can do is go to uh, the PyTorch uh, documentation page. I have attached a link to that in the description of the video and you can see uh, what what different operations are there with these tensors and you can do whatever you want you can try them and on your own and um, i think that's the best way to learn so thank you for watching this video in the next video we will be doing autograd